and I want to check the prices. Okay, so who is trying to? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this is a moron. Are you sure you want to attack my fleet? All right. So if you want to do it, feel free. <laughs>
crew and one captain and I will get this crew in uh, Argon Shipyard so let's see we need more hull parts or why that's fine we don't care and uh, 610 hull parts I should have that hull parts in my station number three so let's take a look again what do we have over there so hull parts we should have oh yeah we don't have any hull parts there but that's fine because I do have just in case a very fast supply ship so let's check what do we have inside again so hull parts 1800 all right so let's take some hull parts from I don't know maybe station number two because I do have hull parts everywhere but station number three because I sold most of them so then uh, fly to station two and then fly station three and dock edit so this is this is it guys I do have the blueprint for the main battery guns and destroyer so I'm going to build one so I'll be back when I will have one I am in my behemoth Lingards, I think this is a brand new ship and I'm flying like a celebrity again and this behemoth will join my rattlesnake fleet which is over there guys and I do have two more behemoths behind the rattlesnake and this is going to be my primary fleet and every 55 minutes or basically every one hour I am making three new behemoths so hopefully this is going to be enough I'm thinking I will visit uh, the Paranids because I would like to buy or I would like to check the price for their blueprints because I would like to buy Hermes Vanguard which is like a transport ship and it is very very fast so where is the Nova oh shoot it is in Argon Prime okay so Nova fly please to the Paranid Valve and I want to check the prices okay so who is trying to <laughs> oh man <laughs> this is a moron are you sure you want to attack my fleet all right so if you want to do it feel free <laughs> this is a really bad position where you want to be okay so he it hit the gas <laughs> he's flying away this was so funny like how big moron you need to be to attack a fleet with five destroyers like a guys destroyers please drop your cargo no way <laughs> you really need to be a moron so i'm in behemoth and we can watch what is going to happen with this guy soon and i do have one cerberus in my fleet which is like a chasing ship because these uh, destroyers they are very very slow but they do have really good firepower so i will check the nova where it is and i'm using this nova vanguard as my taxi service or uber or uber probably uber so Power distribution unit S, so that's Xenons again. Oh, Argons have a really good fleet here. But guys, if you want to kill the Xenons, you should stay here, not behind the gate. And this is the Xenon sector. They are always doing something bad inside that sector. So they are attacking some Mammoth. Why is the Mammoth over there? I would like to visit this uh, Xenon sector again, but the last, like uh, two or three days ago, I was there with uh, a rattlesnake. I was trying to attack a solar power station, like a Xenon solar power station. And when I hit that solar power station with uh, the rattlesnake, it was like from a scary movie, guys. Like, you can't, or I can't even explain what was happening over there. It was absolutely crazy. 
I am in a Baranit station. I'm visiting this representative and I'm going to buy the blueprint of a ship. And I want this Hermes Vanguard because I would like to build my own ships and they are really good like they don't have a big capacity they don't have some very good shield but they are very fast so if I want to move a lot of materials like uh, very fast then I can do it with these small ships so like not small they are medium sized I think but this is the blueprint I want so now I can teleport myself into my fleet and this time I will teleport myself into the rattlesnake that's the main ship or the leading ship Entering of the fleet and I do have a lot of snakes around or lizards so this is the rattlesnake and we are guarding this area between three gates or yeah, jump gate, jump gate, and jump gate to the super highway. So let's move the rattlesnake just in the middle because this system, like it is not dangerous, but there are always some pirates or raiders flying through. So hopefully, my ships will stop them. And I wanted to build a very special building on station number four. I can't remember what is the name for it, but I think it's like an office, I think. Right, so Habitat, Docs, Defense, oh yes, this is it, Administra Administrative Complex, but where I'm going to place it? I know it doesn't look very good, but I never had this building, so let's build it. And it will take some time because uh, this station is very busy with uh, building all the stuff around. So it will take a while to build it. So we will see. Like I, I was told that I can basically like capture this system for myself, like Nopilos Fortune, and then I will try maybe to capture this system as well, like Nopilos Fortune Six. And we will see. So, I don't know how it works exactly, but if I do have the resources, I can build it. So, why not, right? And I should have another behemoth. Yes, I do. Perfect. So, this behemoth, I will sell it to Baranids. So, let's sell it. Almost 11 mil millions. And basically why I'm sen selling the behemoths or some of them to Paranids, they don't have much own ships or fighter ships. So if I will sell them some ships, which I build, basically I am using my own resources and they will provide the money. So I hope or... I think I, we can benefit like uh, together. They will get the ship, I will get the money and I don't need to care about the resources because I do have plenty. So let's try to build some station or uh, ship, not station. So that's station number two, I think, right? So let's build another behemoth. So I want a destroyer, I do have my custom preset for building the ship, so add it to the queue and I need 1300 hull parts. That's piece of cake, I do have hull parts everywhere. I think the station number 3 will benefit if I will build another graphene production over there. So I need to find a place where I, where I can place it. So graphene and something else. Now I can't remember what, what is the next thing what I want to build over there. So let's try to build the graphene. Okay, I will rotate it. Maybe this way, if it fits. Yes, it does. 
<laughs> so it is very close but it fits there perfect and now I know what I wanted to build I wanted to build another whole part factory what the hell is this okay so that the scanning array so whole part factory I know it is like a skinny module and I do have the whole parts factories here or the whole part production module so let's place it here I need to rotate it just like that and it should fit over there oh is it I think it is over there hopefully it is not clipping into the station hopefully maybe maybe it won't I know this station is getting crowded a lot or I can take that module and maybe I can place it here because I don't like it when it would snap into the station so I will rotate it this way and it's perfect if I need more I can place more modules over here so this is the station number three guys like it is huge and I built another dock because this station was getting very busy with the, the ships uh, getting inside and like uh, docking, undocking. So sometimes they were in a queue and we will see guys, we will see. Or well, maybe I should build another small dock, maybe 3M, 3M6S. So let's try to build uh, another small dock. So this is 8 medium, alright. So if I will place it here, it's just for the medium ships. Maybe it is going to be better position. So let's rotate it. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's nice. And maybe... No, oh, I think it's fine. I will leave it there guys I will leave it there so perfect assign a builder all right so we will find a builder select confirm and the station number three is uh, not ready but when it will be finished it will be a little bit better than it was so what do we do uh, in station number one so let's check the production in station number one so everything is running i think smooth maybe more whole parts maybe i don't know so how many whole part factories six oh shoot that's all so let's build two more station number one <laughs> because why not so this is the headquarters and uh, let's find okay i see it now so let's build another so i will copy the sec sequence i will copy the sequence again and sometimes it is hard to place okay i should have it there and i will check the loadout okay the loadout has uh, the height high preset so I will get two more whole part factories over there. So I need another builder, all right? So let's take this one, confirm, piece of cake. So station number three is busy with the uh, graphene and whole production, which is perfect. Station number one will build two whole part productions modules and station number two is building what? Oh, another whole part production modules. Perfect. So, I think we are set, more or less. And let's check what is happening here. So, the, the fleet is parked here. Perfect. What is this? Do I have more behemoths? Oh, nice. Another behemoth will be finished in 20 seconds in station number one perfect oh come on i didn't want to do this but this is station number three 25 minutes to get another behemoth and station number three doesn't have 
Oh, st station number two doesn't have the resources for building the behemoth, but I will deliver everything over there and that's it. So this behemoth, I do have the preset that I'm not using my own crew. So let's go to the Teladi shipyard. I will get the crew over there. So let's get it there. Just like this, I'm not going to buy any marines. So I do have rattlesnakes for uh, carrying the marines. So marines add to the shopping list. Confirm. And when the behemoth will get the crew, then I will add it into the fleet. Who was asked to drop the cargo? E station for escape. All right. So let's check it. Oh, we do have a, another raider here. So I will place the fleet in better spot, so the fleet will be exactly in the middle of these four gates. So, oh, sorry guys, so, so we can check what is happening. So this is the raider in front of us. I'm sitting in the rattlesnake, and when rattlesnake shoot it is it looks so good now oh, this is the cerberus that's not the raider okay so i think that's the raider over there so let's see yes this is the this is the raider all right so let's check the behemoth if they can do it like i know they can so let's send them all Okay, so they are rotating everything. And that's my trader, yo. Stop shooting it, alright? Okay, trader, you can do it. <laughs> that was very close. So, raider, you are going to pay for this cheeky action with your ship and your life. Okay, behemoths, do your best. So, what kind of a ship is this? Minotaur Raider, and this is Cyber. So, basically, they are almost like same ships. So, let's go here, and that's it, I think. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. This is the way.